really interesting. You know, you got the teleports, you got the fake out slides, you got the floats, you got the big lasers with their follow-ups attached to them as well. So not only is it scary to play against him when he's zoning, it's also scary to play against him when he's playing a rushdown as well. This fits Masoma really well as a character because Masoma plays these kind of characters, which are versatile in many different ranges. Think Vlob and Melty Blood, or think uh, Izanami and Blaze Blue. Incredibly strong characters, top of the tier list that just perform well at any space. And Masoma here performing well, starting off in this round. Game one against Mario. Finding another opening. Here's another combo, and the meter gain is going nuts right now. Has that Vorpal Cycle as well. Yeah, this one's, um, this, this matchup's pretty scary here for Wagner because Kuan has these very strong space control moves. One of Wagner's weaknesses is that she does have to get it on you, unlike a lot of the cast in this game who can just combo you from full screen, which does mean that these giant moves here from this Kuan are going to cause a lot of trouble for Mario. Yeah, and I like that you note that Wagner struggles against Kuon because not only because of the zoning, but Kuon has a lot of multi-hitting moves that he likes to use for Oki. And the thing about that is that that destroys her guard uh, guard point moves because they're all multi-hitting projectiles. So it becomes even scarier for Mario to try to go for these strong Abari options that work against most of the cast. Using that IW, spending that meter, trying to just put Masoma down on health here, and trying to get this pressure started. But Masoma's blocking pretty well, but there's only so much blocking you can do, mashes out and hits Mario here. And this is looking bad for Mario. Easy side swap for Masoma right here, spanging the meter for the extra damage. Ring comes out, you try to roll, there's a punish coming out from Masoma. Masoma's just two plus right now, and it's just playing a really strong, really potent rush down game. So often do you see Masoma play a very passive, sit back, shoot out those lasers, zoning game against most of the players. But something something turned on within Masoma right now. Notice that he can really run his offense against Mario and is letting that rock. Masoma really needs to find options to beat these options like Float, for example, which can be mashed on, but it can be scary as well. So I'm really interested to see what Mario has in store for us on defense, but also on offense with that assault overhead, finding its mark. Here's a great start for Mario, even if they got DP'd out of the corner. Yeah, and getting that hit, not able to get a full combo, but a nice throw after the chain ship. Just trying to punish Masoma doing nothing afterwards, and keeping them in this corner means that Masoma's going to be hard pressed to get out of this. And it's exactly what we're talking about Mario with a huge counter hit here, and this is going to be a ton of damage down. Okay, there's the chain shift. Yeah, what Mario was trying to do right there was trying to bait out a DP, trying to bait out uh, a VO from a Masoma with that chain shift, trying to keep it safe. There's a lot of gaps within Mar oh, Wagner's strings, which can make it very difficult if the player knows how to fuzzy, uh, very difficult to use if the player knows how to fuzzy mash against them, and also knows the spacing. Yeah, and Masoma is very good at getting these DPs out in between Mario's pressure and turning this into a lot of damage, and Mario is just struggling to approach right now, and Masoma gets their hit, and this is going to be very, very close to death here. Now, Mario is going to win the Vorpal Cycle right here, so they do have Chain Shift on a deck if they need to use it. I don't know if they're going to really use any meter right now. Yeah, there it is. They're, they're, that is such a huge hill to climb that I don't blame Mario for getting thrown right there. Losing that round, but still keeping it alive here in game number two. Still going, and there's the grid break coming through for Mario. Block on the VO attempt from Asoma. Yeah, and this is going to be a lot of damage, no meter for Masoma, which is what they've really been pushing to their strength, because IW just trying to do as much damage as possible, trying to waste as much time as possible of that VO, and Masoma's a very, very sticky situation, but is able to DP out. That's great. And I think it's really understated how well Masoma is playing on defense against Mara right here because we know that Wagner's pressure can be very suffocating. But Masoma's, uh, like, Kuan doesn't have a lot of great defensive options. They have B flash kick, but is slow compared to other reversals. And they also don't have a five frame of Bari option. Yeah, but speaking of defense, Mario has been blocking everything, all of these fl flight mixes Mario's been able to hold for now, and look at the amount of grid they're building up, they're gonna reach maximum, but Masoma able to press through and taking game two here. 
as you say it, the commentator curse, Mario getting opened up at that final moment, and Masoma, yeah, looking really good against Mario right here. We're going back to the character select screen, maybe? We're going back to the lobby, uh, gathering, our uh, gathering our thoughts real quick, trying to figure out what to do in this matchup right now, and I respect that. You know, you're in top eight. You're in loser's semis. Take all the time you need. As yeah. long as we're not running until like 12 p.m. at night or 12 a.m. at night. But yeah, looks like character switch. Yeah. Okay, this is really interesting because Mario is known for the Wagner, right? But Mario also has some pockets, and Biakia is one of them. Yeah, definitely. Biakia is really good, uh, pretty good into this matchup here because just yes, the mix. Kuan is kind of weak on defense besides their BP, and Biakia really exploits that. Another thing that Byakuya exploits in this matchup as well is the zoning that Masoma will want to do with Kuon as well because Mario as Byakuya has, uh, has options like 6-6-C which are great counter zoning tools and have great conversions afterwards as well. Very consistent conversions for a character like Byakuya. But Byakuya, Mario can't really do too much with this character right now when you're stuck in the corner and you also have a bit of a weaker defense compared to Wagner. You don't have the same kind of Abari options. You don't have the same kind of reversal options. You need meter for reversal and you have no five frame so it can be really tricky to defend against this pressure that musoma is just letting mario take yeah i mean musoma is just their pressure on everyone has been insane on this kuon it's really putting a good look in for this character with both their offensive capabilities and the defensive ones the zoning ones but yeah mario getting something started here getting thrown out of their own pressure now and there's 2b and you can tell like Masoma a bit scared to really press on these buttons because there's very large cancel windows for Byakuya so you want to be really careful trying to press like we're seeing right here and lots of range as well as you see that 5c found its mark against Masoma and that might be the round right here given that Mario does not drop this combo no you got the triple Rekka no we're just saving on that meter we didn't even do the third Rekka yeah I mean it would have probably needed an IW there to close out the round and Mario had a pretty significant life lead and because of their their restraint there, they now get to enter this round here with 200 meter. But Masoma starting it off with the run up throw twice, trying to bait out a tech there. But Mario doesn't fall for it and gets rewarded with a big counter hit. Triple record Ender gets the concentrate. Oh no, drops the combo concentrated for a bit too long. And Masoma is going to let you know that you should not be letting him out for free. Here you go in the corner. Misses that 3C, but it's okay. Finds another 3C. Not going to cancel into the pressure reset though, which is really interesting. Assault gain that cross up. Mario keeping this block going. Oh, but there's a change of DP. Mario can use that to get out of this pressure now and start running their own. Catches with the 2L here, and Masoma is going to have to block this web pressure. Web pressure out. Oh, and there is the orb coming out. I think that would have uh, not punished Mario when on most characters, but because uh, because Kuan's DP hits on both sides, that was a really smart option to use right there to beat Mario's cross-up attempt. And because of that, Masoma is going to be moving on into Losers Finals, where we're going to be seeing a match against Big Black. Our top three now is between Defiance, Big Black, and Masoma.